Namu myo ho ren ge kyo Namu myo ho ren ge kyo Namu myo ho ren ge kyo Let it be known that this place is indeed the place of the way. Here the Buddhas attain supreme perfect awakening. Here the Buddhas roll the Dharma wheel. And here the Buddhas enter Parinirvana. Namu myo ho ren ge kyo. Buddham saranam gachami. May we with all living beings deeply experience the great way and give rise to the supreme aspiration. Dhamam saranam gachami. May we with all living beings embrace the riches of the sutras and make our wisdom as wide and deep as the sea. Sangam saranam gachami. May we with all living beings guide the great community and be freed from all hindrances. We put our faith in the eternal Buddha, Shakyamuni, great benevolent teacher, world honored one, the Tathagata, abundant treasures, witness to the Lotus Sutra, the separated embodiments of the Buddha in the ten directions in the past, present, and future, the four great bodhisattvas, superior practice, boundless practice, pure practice, and steadfast practice, the bodhisattva, mahasattvas, manjushri, universal sage, maitreya, and all other bodhisattva, mahasattvas, Great Bodhisattva Nichiren, revered practitioner of the Lotus Sutra, founder Nikyo, great teacher of the One Vehicle, co-founder Myoko, Bodhisattva of the Way of Compassion, the guardian spirits of Risho, Kosei Kai, and the countless heavenly spirits in the Ten Directions. May you all be present among us and know our deep devotion. <laughs> Namu Myo Ho Ren Kyo. The unsurpassed, profound, wondrous dharma is rarely met in myriads of kalpas. Now we see, hear, receive, and embrace it. May we understand the foremost teaching of the Tathagata. The Sutra of the Lotus Flower of the Wondrous Dharma from Chapter 2, Skillful Means. At that time, the world-honored one, rising calmly from samadhi, addressed Shariputra, the wisdom of Buddhas is infinite and extremely profound. The approach to their wisdom is difficult to enter and difficult to understand. It is beyond the comprehension of even Shravakas and Pratyeka Buddhas. Why is this? Because the Buddhas have been in close association with hundreds of thousands of millions of other Buddhas, fully practicing countless teachings of the way, boldly and diligently advancing and making their fame universally known. Having accomplished the extremely profound and extraordinary Dharma, they have taught it according to what was appropriate, but their intention is difficult to grasp. Shariputra, since I became Buddha, I have spoken far and wide and taught with various parables and examples from the past, and by countless skillful means I have led living beings, freeing them from their attachments. Why is this? Because the Tathagatas are replete with skillful means and the paramita of knowledge and insight. Shariputra, the knowledge and insight of the Tathagatas are broad, great, profound, and far-reaching. With their infinite virtues, their unhindered wisdom and their powers, fearlessness, meditations, emancipations, and samadhis, they have entered into the boundless realms and fully attained the extraordinary dharma. Shariputra, the Tathagatas, are able to distinguish all things, explain the teachings skillfully, use gentle words, and bring joy to the hearts of all. In essence, Shariputra, the Buddhas are fully accomplished in the infinite, boundless, and extraordinary dharma. That is enough, Shariputra, I should say no more. Why is this? Because the Dharma the Buddhas have attained is understood only rarely and with great difficulty. Only a Buddha together with a Buddha can fathom the ultimate reality of all things. That is to say, among all things, each has such an appearance, such a nature, such an embodiment, such a potential, such a function, such a cause, such a condition, such an effect, such a reward and from the first to the last, such an ultimate identity. Namu myo ho ren ge kyo Namu myo ho ren ge kyo Namu myo ho ren ge kyo 
the Sutra of the Lotus Flower of the Wondrous Dharma from Chapter 16, The Lifespan of the Eternal Tathagata. Since I became Buddha, countless hundreds of thousands of millions of immeasurable numbers of kalpas have passed. In the innumerable kalpas since then, I have ceaselessly expounded the Dharma, teaching and transforming countless millions of beings and enabling them to embark upon the Buddha way. I employed skillful means to reveal my nirvana in order to liberate all living beings. In truth, though, I am not extinguished, for I always abide here teaching the Dharma. Although I am always dwelling in this world, by using my transcendent powers, I cause living beings with distorted minds to be unable to see me even though I am near. All who perceive that I have perished everywhere pay homage to my relics. All who cherish and long for me look up with thirsting hearts. At last, when living beings humbly believe, are upright in character and gentle and flexible in mind, and wish with all their hearts to see the Buddha even at the cost of their lives, then I and all the Sangha appear together on Divine Eagle Peak. At that time I tell all living beings that I am always here and did not pass away. I use the power of skillful means to manifest both that I am extinguished and that I am not. If in other lands there are living beings who are joyful, reverent, and faithful, I will teach the supreme dharma among them as well. You not hearing of this merely think I have perished. I see all living beings sinking in the sea of suffering, and I do not appear before them so that they begin to thirst for me. When their hearts are filled with the deepest longing, I then come forth to teach the Dharma. Such are my transcendent powers throughout immeasurable kalpas. I am always on divine eagle peak and abiding in all other places. When living beings see great fires burning at the time of the end of a kalpa, this land of mine is tranquil and calm, always filled with heavenly beings and humans. Its gardens, groves, halls, and pavilions are adorned with every kind of gem, and its jeweled trees are full of blossoms and fruit. Here all living beings take their pleasure, while heavenly beings strike heavenly drums, always making many kinds of music, and showering mandarava flowers on the Buddha and his great assembly. My pure land is never destroyed, yet all see it as consumed by fire and filled with every kind of grief, horror, pain, and distress. Those errant living beings, because of their bad karma, never hear of the names of the three treasures throughout immeasurable kalpas. But those who perform virtuous deeds and are gentle and upright of nature will all see me here teaching the Dharma. At times, for the sake of them all, I teach that a Buddha's lifespan is beyond measure. To those who see a Buddha only after a very long time, I teach that a Buddha is rarely met. Such is the power of my wisdom that its light shines infinitely. My lifespan is of countless kalpas attained through long cultivation of practice. Those of you who have wisdom give rise to no doubt about this, bring doubt forever to an end, for the Buddha's words are valid, not in vain. A physician with skillful means who is actually alive and announces his death only in order to cure his deranged children cannot be accused of falsehood. Like a father to all in this world, I cure their sufferings and diseases. For the sake of ordinary people with distorted thinking, I say that I am extinguished, though truly I am here. Were they always to see me, they would grow complacent and self-indulgent, lose themselves in attachments to the five desires, and fall into evil paths. I always know living beings, those who practice the way and those who do not, and for their sake expound various teachings, deliberate each of them accordingly. I am ever thinking, how can I cause living beings to embark upon the unsurpassable way and quickly accomplish embodiment as Buddhas? Namu myo ho ren ge kyo Namu myo ho ren ge kyo Namu myo ho ren ge kyo May these merits extend universally to all so that we and all living beings together accomplish the Buddha way. May these merits extend universally to all so that we and all living beings together accomplish the Buddha way. May these merits extend universally to all so that we and all living beings together accomplish the Buddha way. Namu myo ho ren ge kyo Namu myo ho ren 
ょうなむみょうほうれんげきょうなむみょうほうれんげきょうなむみょうほうれんげきょうなむみょうほうれんげきょうなむみょうほうれんげきょうなむみょうほうれんげきょうなむみょうほうれんげきょうなむみょうほうれんげきょう Having respectfully recited the great vehicle sutra of the lotus flower of the wondrous dharma, may we transfer its merits to and thus reciprocate the boundless compassion of The eternal Buddha, Shakyamuni, great benevolent teacher, world honored one, the Tathagata, abundant treasures, witness to the Lotus Sutra, the separated embodiments of the Buddha in the ten directions in the past, present, and future, the four great bodhisattvas, superior practice, boundless practice, pure practice, and steadfast practice, the Bodhisattva Mahasattvas, Manjushri, Universal Sage, Maitreya, and all other Bodhisattva Mahasattvas. Great Bodhisattva Nichiren, revered practitioner of the Lotus Sutra, founder Nikyo, great teacher of the One Vehicle, co founder Myoko, Bodhisattva of the Way of Compassion, the guardian spirits of Risho Kosekai, the guardian spirits of member families of Risho Kosekai, and the countless heavenly spirits in the Ten Directions. We reverently offer and transfer the merits of this recitation to all our ancestors and all others who are recorded in our memorial registers, all those whose memorial day is today, and all those who have passed beyond known and unknown to us, wherever they be, so that they may delight in the taste of the Dharma and quickly accomplish the wondrous fruit of supreme awakening. We earnestly pray that with the help of divine guidance and protection, all living beings may awaken to their Buddha nature and world peace may be achieved. Namu myo ho ren ge kyo. Namu myo ho ren ge kyo. Namu myo ho ren ge kyo. We, members of Risho Kosei Kai, take refuge in the eternal Buddha Shakyamuni and recognize in Buddhism a true way of liberation under the guidance of our revered founder Nikyo Nuano. In the spirit of lay Buddhists, we vow to perfect ourselves through personal discipline and leading others and by improving our knowledge and practice of the faith. And we pledge ourselves to follow the Bodhisattva way. To bring peace to our families, communities, and countries, and to the world. <laughs>